Hey folks, this is Rainer here from TradingWithRainer.com So, hope you guys are well, enjoying your weekends And as for me, you know, I'm doing fine right now Kind of uh, missed last week video analysis because Partly because I don't really see much setup coming up And thus I didn't really see a need to come up with a video But this week, we have uh, a few pairs that I'm looking at actually So we have something to actually look forward and potentially trade in the upcoming week so without further ado, we, let's look at some of the charts that I would like to share with you guys this week. First and foremost, let's look at the Aussie Yen, right? How about that? So a little background about the Aussie Yen, if you guys do not know something that is fundamental, interesting about this pair. So basically, there's this thing called the carry trade, whereby hedge fund and institutions, what they like to do is actually long the Aussie and short the Yen, right? So basically long the Aussie Yen. Long the Aussie against the Yen. The reason being is because they have something called the carry trade which works whereby because the Aussie actually provides a, a higher interest rate, right? Compared to the Japanese Yen. So what they do is when you long the Aussie and you have a positive carry trade means even if your trade does not move a single pip, after one year, you have a carry trade of a positive, I think around 3% if I'm not wrong, right? I didn't really check what's the latest interest rate on the Aussie, but I think it's around 3 to 4% a positive carry trade. So that's what most funds like to do. They like to long this pair because of the potential capital appreciation and the carry trade. So right now I'm actually looking at a potential long setup on this Aussie yen. So let's see. Some of the levels I'm looking at is actually this 94 level, right? Let's zoom out a little on the daily chart. We can see that this pair is actually making new higher lows and higher highs, alright, can't really deny that, right, so we had this consolidation, right, between the 94 re region around here and here, so what happened was that price finally took out the high over here, right, and now seems to be retracing back, so not only do we have a fundamental reason to get long, now we have a technical reason to get long as well, so the level I'm actually looking at right now is the 94 level, so yep, this area over here, this region, so should price come back towards uh, the 94 area in the coming week, I'll look to get long, right? Of course, I'll be anticipating a bullish engulfing pattern or a pin bar to get long this setup. So that's for the Aussie Yen. Another two pairs I like to look at is that the, it's between the Euro Dollar and the Pound Dollar, right? If you look at the Euro Dollar, this is the weekly chart. Price section on it over the last weeks has been tremendously boring for swing traders, right? You just look at the inside buy form over the last two weeks, right? This candle and this candle. It's in a, I'm not sure, I think it's like what, a 60 to 100 pip range. So, what I'm anticipating is that uh, the euro dollar would have some, uh, I would say, a uh, breakout in either direction. I'm not sure whether you go up higher or lower, but according to the ECB, they are quite, I would say, uh, worried that, it, that the euro may appreciate to the 1.4. So, I'm sure they will, I mean, I won't say I'm sure, but the 1.4 level is something to actually look out for, right? Because they do not like the euro to actually be too strong as you will hurt their economy. So I'm not sure whether they'll do anything against the euro. But nonetheless, this pair is something to look out for in the coming weeks because I do expect uh, a breakout, right? In the coming week. And I'm not sure in which direction, but I do anticipate a breakout. Because what usually happens is that periods of low volatility, low volatility, right? will lead to high volatility. So that's how the markets work, work right? So thus, that's my reasoning of expecting a breakout in either direction for the euro dollar. But looking at the pound dollar, it's a little similar as well, right? We have a, okay, not an inside bar, but we have really tight consolidation. And my bias for the pound dollar is actually a breakout to the upside. And here's why. Look at the weekly chart, I zoom out, you can see that, see that the 168 level has held up a number of times, right? See, once here, a rejection. Second time. This one didn't even reach the level, and neither did this. So each time it came towards the 168 level, the rejection was very swift. Look at this. One spike up, and uh, we call that a bear trap, a pin bar, a bear trap, and those who went long on the breakout got caught, and price traded lower. Second time, we rallied higher, all right? And within two candles, it took this pair down lower once again. And the third step towards the high, it didn't even reached in the 168 and it came back lower and similarly for the 4th attempt came back lower so the 168 level is actually very well defended if you ask me but let's look at what's happening right now right now the 168 level look at this tested once right the last four times it tested around this area it, rejection was very strong very swift but 
This time round, the rejection was only about, say, 3-400 pip down, and right now, it's back up towards the 168 level again. So what this tells me, what price action is telling me right now is that the bulls are getting stronger. Alright, the bears are unable to push this pair down lower compared to the last 4 times. So, if this level is still to be heavily defended, I shouldn't see price looking at this 168 level for so long. So thus, my bias is now towards the upside. I'm anticipating a breakout, to be frank. So, how do I get along this setup? There's no reason to get along now at this resistance level, so I actually will look for a pullback. So, where may price pull back to? We can actually glean towards the daily chart for some clues, and possible levels are actually here, as well as here, this region down here. Will price come back all the way down here? Sorry, all the way back towards the green zone to let me test for long? I do not know, but should it come back to this area, I'll be looking for a reversal pattern to get along this pair because of my upward bias. So yep, this is for the pound dollar. And now let's look at gold, right? I did post this setup on my Facebook discussion group because I thought it was quite a beautiful setup. So gold. Daily chart, right? It's very simple. We have a... I won't really call it a very strong uptrend, but if you zoom out, right? It's in a range. I would say, I would say it's in a range and with uh, bullish towards the upside because we have actually higher lows so i've plot my support resistance level and main level to be watching as the, actually the 1270 so what happened is that price previously the one 1270 was acted as resistance once twice then price retrace a little break up higher come back towards the 1270 rallied higher and now it came back and test this level once more so it formed my favorite pattern, which is actually the bullish engulfing pattern. Notice it's actually a very strong signal because it managed to engulf the one, two, three candles. The last prior three candles, it engulfs the prior three bearish red body candles. So it's actually a pretty strong signal if you ask me. So not sure if any of you managed to get long, but if you do get long, right, you could look to take half at this level. This swing high over here, may, which may provide resistance and your final final target will be at this swing high over here so yep first target second target for those who of you who are along this trade and that's for gold and lastly let's look at canadian swiss franc right canadian swiss franc so this is the daily chart let's look at the weekly chart all right we, i mean any school kid can tell you that this pair is in a bloody downtrend right it formed lower highs all right lower highs can just highlight it highlight 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 and now so it's in the downtrend and nobody should be looking to long at all. I mean, at least on the swing or position basis, do not try to long this pair. And if you want to get short since it's in the downtrend, you'll be wondering where is a good level or where is a good level to short. So looking at a daily chart, it's not too clear where we can short. So I'll zoom in right to the forward chart and now we can see better, right? This is the forward chart and if you ask me if I want to get short, levels I'll be interested in is the 80-40 level, which is here. Right, should price retrace here in the coming week? All right, I'll be looking to short this level down here because we have a bias from the weekly trend, which shows that it's a downtrend. All right, forward charts tells us that right now price is ranging between the between the I would say what level is this 79 89 level and the 80 40 level around here. So if I want to get short as price approaches this resistance over here, I will look to get short. Stop loss wise, you can use a 180R or 280R depending on your risk tolerance and look for price to actually take out this low over here and potentially touching the yearly lows over here so yep this is how I would trade the Canadian Swiss franc and that's all I have for this week Forex analysis if you guys enjoyed it you can actually go down to my website over here and I do have ways you can connect better with me on YouTube you can join, join me on my Facebook discussion group over here so yep, anything else you can actually contact me, right? If your dog loves trading, I'll be sure to share with you how your dog can improve his trading as well. So without further ado, right? I wish you good luck and good trading. Thank you.